Welcome to the Ferrari stand at the 2016 Geneva Motor Show. The F1 car in its suspended in its new livery with this white patch up here, which we rather like. And the main news on the stand is just over there, and it's the replacement for the FF. So this is the new GTC4 Lusso. Under the bonnet there is the 6.2 litre V12, now putting out 680 brake horsepower and 514 pounds feet of torque. That's only up about 29 brake horsepower and about 10 pounds for the torque, but they're saying the torque, 80% of it is now available from just 1750 RPM. So that changes the driving dynamics quite a bit. Other things, well, this car's now got, it's got the four wheel drive with that uh, power transfer unit on the front of the engine, very clever. Um, and they've made a few sort of software changes to that, so it can now send up to 90% of the available torque to either one of the front wheels. The other things, well, it's got side slip control four, but it's also got rear wheel steering. It can have up to plus or minus one and a half degrees on each of the rear wheels. And they're saying it's only used in terms of, sort of with the stability control system to make the car um, sort of better in, in it when it's sliding, basically. So it never shortens the wheelbase, it only lengthens the wheelbase. So like the, um, well, the F12 Tour de France that we had before, but this is, is a more sophisticated work with the four wheel drive um, and the updated steering as well. However, if that all sounds a little bit sort of dull and sort of you know, safe somehow, uh, they're also saying that it does actually now oversteer really very, very nicely indeed. Let's go and have a look at the interior of this car as well because that's the other thing that has made a big leap on in the new GTC4 Lusso. So if the outside of the car is sort of more of an evolution, I suppose, although I do like those, those four rear lights now sort of mimicking the tailpipes below them, the interior is made, well, quite a big leap on, to be honest. Uh, we've got this dual cockpit design. So we've got two screens here, both of them are touch screens. We've seen a little sort of bar over here with some sort of you know, fairly basic graphics um, to tell the driver, passenger, sorry, just how scared they should be. Um, but now we've got a full touch screen here and it's, it's a big leap on, to be honest. Ferrari were always slightly lacking given the, the, the cost of the car. Thank you for shutting the quite so loudly. Um, it is powered. Um, it's now going to cost 1% more than a FF, so it's about £230,000. All that, of course, comes with a four year warranty and the seven years free servicing. In here, well, they've moved this bar down here that used to be in the centre there, so that's kind of freed up quite a lot of room. So you've got a nice cubby hole, cup holder, obviously. Um, the other thing is the steering wheel here, which is, is much smaller actually than it's been used to. And it's still got the Manatino here, we've got some phone controls and stuff, but the indicators have changed. So you can now, you obviously still press them like that, but you can also work them with, get this right, a finger behind the wheel like that, which does feel slightly more intuitive, I have to say. The engine I meant to say before has now got equal length uh, headers on it on the exhaust side. so. Um, that means they can tune the sound of the car much more easily. So I'm, I'm quite intrigued to see how the V12 actually sounds. Performance figures, well, 0 to 62 miles an hour in 3.4 seconds, and it will go on all out to 208 miles an hour, which is fast enough, I think. So there we go. Yeah, it's the, the new FF, the GTC4 Lusso. Let us know what you think. Do you think it's very cool? Do you like the bread van look? Um, people seem slightly sort of polarised by this car, some absolutely adore it, so it's the only Ferrari they can imagine actually ever owning. Other people think it's ugly and pointless, but um, I'll let you decide and let us know on Twitter and Facebook and Instagram and all that sort of thing. I rather like it, but then I liked, I like the Breadland van look. I was a BMW fan when they did that with the first M Coupe, so what's not to like? <laughs>